Hello, my name is Jasmine. I'm the teen librarian here at the Lamont Public Library District. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a few new teen fiction and graphic novels for the month of February that you'll be able to find here at the library. At the end, I will also be telling you about teen programs we are offering this winter and service hour opportunities that you might be interested in. Let's get started. In the Serpent's Wake by Rachel Hartman. Mind of the world, open your eyes. At the bottom of the world lies a serpent the last of its kind. Finding the serpent will change lives. Tess is a girl on a mission to save a friend. Spira is a dragon seeking a new identity. Marga is an explorer staking her claim on a man's world. Giacomo is a priest searching for his soul. There are those who would give their lives to keep it hidden, and those who would destroy it. For the only people who would truly find the serpent are those who have awakened to the world around them with eyes open to the wondrous, the terrible, and the just. Murder of Crows by K. Ankrum Lethal Lit follows Tig Torres, a Cuban-American teen detective in her hometown of Hollow Falls. In season one of the hit podcast, Tig used her smarts and fearlessness to track down the infamous Lit Killer a serial killer who staged his murders after death scenes from famous books. But there's no rest for courageous and mysterious and mystery-solving teens in a place like Hollow Falls. And though the lit killer is now behind bars, his protege, Tig's classmate and crush Ali, has disappeared. And that's not the only game afoot. Tig has caught the attention of the town's local armchair detective group, the Murder Crows. They're obsessed with Hollow Falls' dark past, and fixated on a dangerous search for the missing body of the town's founder. There are rumors about what's buried with the body that could be life-changing for whoever finds it. And with a mission like that underway, it's not long before a member of the murder of crows turns up dead. Tig, along with her friends Max and Wynne, step in to help, with the st but the sticks are getting higher and the hunt more deadly. Someone's willing to kill to keep the town's secrets buried. And if Tig's not careful, She'll be the murder of crows next victim. Bitter by Akawake Emizi. From National Book Award finalist Akawake Emizi comes a companion novel to the critically acclaimed Pet that explores both the importance and cost of social revolution and how youth led the way. After childhood and foster care, Bitter is thrilled to have been chosen to attend Eucalyptus, a special school where she can focus on her painting, surrounded by other creative teens. But outside this haven, the streets are filled with pro protests against the deep injustices that grip the city of Lucille. Bitter's insti instinct is to stay safe within the walls of Eucalyptus, but her friends aren't willing to settle for a world that's so far away from what they deserve. Pulled between old friendships, her artistic passion, and a new romance, Bitter is unsure where she belongs, in the studio or in the streets. And if she does find a way to help the revolution while being true to who she is, she must also ask, at what cost? League of Liars by Astrid Schultz in this fantasy thriller, four teens charged with murder and caught up with the illegal use of magic band together to devise the ultimate jailbreak, perfect for fans of Six of Crows and How to Get Away with Murder. Ever since his mother was killed, 17-year-old Kyder Broduck has had one goal, to see illegal users of magic brought to justice. People who carelessly use extra-dimensional magic for their own self-interest, without a care for the damage it does to society or those around them. They deserve to be punished as far as Kyder is concerned, because magic always has a price. So when Kyder lands a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to apprentice under a premier public defender, he takes it. If he can learn all the tricks of public defense, the better he'll be able to dismantle defense arguments when he's a prosecutor then he'll finally be able to make sure justice is served. But when he meets the three criminals he's supposed to defend, it no longer seems so black and white. They're teenagers, like him, and their stories are complicated, like his. 
Varden, the prison where Cater's new clients are incarcerated, also happened to be at the very heart of the horrible tear in the veil between their world and another dimension, where all magic comes from. Fire Becomes Her by Rosie Thor In Rosie Thor's lavish fantasy novel with a jazz age spark, a, po a politically savvy teen must weigh her desire to climb the social ladder against her heart in a world where magic buys votes. Flair is power. With an only a drop of flair, one can light the night sky with fireworks or burn a building to the ground. And 17-year-old Ingrid Ellis wants her fair share. Ingrid doesn't have a family fortune, monetary or magical, but at least she has a plan. Rise to the top on the arm of Lyndon Holt heir to the hefty political legacy and the largest fortune of flair in all of Cadence. Her only obstacle is Layden's father, who refuses to acknowledge her. So when Senator Holt announces his run for president, Ingrid uses the situation to her advantage. She strikes a deal to spy on the senator's opposition in exchange for his approval and the status she so desperately craves. But the longer Ingrid wears two masks, the more she questions where her true allegiances lie. Will she stand with the Holtz, or will she forge her new own path? Speak for Yourself by Lana Wood Johnson Girl meets boy. Girl likes boy. Girl gets friend to help win boy. Friends, friend ends up with crush on boy. Skyler, Skyler's got ambition. Ambitious goals. But if she wants them to come true, she has to get to work now. At least she thinks so. Step one is her epic plan is showing everyone that her latest app is brilliant. To do that, she's going to use it to win state at the Scholastic Exposition, the nerdiest academic competition around. First, she'll need a team, and Skylar's not always so good with people. But she'll do whatever it takes to put one together, even if it means playing Cupid for her teammates, Joey and Zane. At Joey's request, when things get off to an awkward start for them, Skylar finds herself stepping in to help Z Joey. Anything to keep her on the team. Only Skylar seems to be making everything more complicated, especially when she realizes she must be falling for Zane, which was not a goal. Can Skylar figure out her feelings, prove her app's potential to the world, and win state without losing her friends? Or is her path to greatness over before it begins? Full Flight by Ashley Schumacher Everyone else in the tiny town of Enfield, Texas, calls fall football season. But for the 43 members of the Fighting Bearcat Marching Band, it's contest season. And for new saxophonist Anna James, it's her first chance to prove herself as the greatest musician she's trying to be. When she's assigned a duet with mellophone player Weston Ryan, the boy her small-minded town thinks of as nothing but trouble, she's equal parts thrilled and intimidated. But as he helps her with the duet, and she sees the smile he seems to save just for her, she can't help but feel like she's helping him with something too. When her strict parents find out she's been secretly seeing him and keep, and keep them apart, Anne and Weston learn what it truly means to fight for something they love. With the marching band contest nearing and the two falling hard for one another, the unthinkable happens, and Anna is left grappling for a way forward without Weston. Sunny G's series of rash decisions by Na Navdeep Singh Difilian. Sunny G's brother left him one thing when he died: his notebook, which Sunny is determined to fill up with a series of rash decisions. Decision number one was a big one. He stopped wearing his turban, cut off his hair, and shaved his beard. He doesn't look like a sheik anymore. He doesn't look like himself anymore. Even his cosplay doesn't look right without his beard. Sonny debuts his new look at prom, which he's stuck going to alone. He's skipping the big fandom party, the one where he's normally in full cosplay, up on stage playing bass with his band and his best friend Nagazi, in favor of the very important prom experience, an experience that's starting to look like a bust. Enter Mindy Vang, a girl with a penchant for making rash decisions of her own. 
starting with stealing Sunny's notebook. When Sunny chases after her, prom turns into an all-night adventure, a night full of rash, wonderful, romantic, stupid, life-changing decisions. Across a Field of Starlight by Blue Deliquanti An epic sci-fi graphic novel romance between two non-binary characters as they find one another through time, distance, and war. An amazing story that explores the complexity of human nature and what it brings us together. And what brings us together. When they were kids, Fasin's fighter spaceship crash landed on a planet that Lou's survey force was exploring. It was a forbidden meeting between a kid from a war focused resistance movement and a kid whose community and planet are dedicated to peace and secrecy. Lou and Fasin are from different worlds and separate solar systems, but their friendship keeps them in each other's orbit as they grow up. They stay in contact in secret as their communities are increasingly threatened by the omnipresent, ever-expanding empire. As the empire begins a new attack against Fasin's people and discovers Lou's in the process, the two of them have a chance to reunite at last. They finally are able to be together, but at what cost? This beautifully illustrated graphic novel is an epic science fiction romance between two non-binary characters as they find one another through time, distance, and war. Magic Boy Volume 1 by The Cow A breathtakingly imaginative fantasy series starring Max, a high schooler chosen to become the next magical girl. There's just one catch. He's a trans boy. Although he was assigned female at birth, Max is your average trans man trying to get through high school as himself. But on top of classes, crushes, and coming out, Max's life is turned upside down when his mom reveals an, an eon's old family secret. He's descended from a long line of magical girls, tasked with defending humanity from a dark ancient evil. With a sassy feline sidekick and loyal gang of friends by his side, can Max take on his destiny, save the world, and become the next magical boy? A hilarious and heartful riff on the magical girl genre made popular by teen manga series, Magical Boy is a -a one-of-a-kind fantasy series that comic readers of all ages will love. This winter, for tween and teen programs, we are offering Anime Manga Club, Teen Volunteer Squad Meetings, Chapter Chat Book Club, D&D, Artful Afternoon, and Board Game and Chess Club. We're also doing 100 books before graduation, where you read 100 books before graduating, log them through your Beanstack account, and win prizes along the way to 100. For service hours, we have our Character Pen Pals program, where you can sign up to write letters to children as their favorite character. This winter, the characters are Moana, Snoopy, and Winnie the Pooh. We also have book reviews and advanced reader book reviews where you get to keep the title after reviewing it. For in-person service, on Tuesday, February 1st and 15th at 4 p.m., we are making homemade dog and cat treats. These treats will be donated to the local Ruby Whiskers Animal Rescue. If you would like any more information about programs or service hour opportunities, you can contact me at jwilson at lamontlibrary.org. Thank you and have a great day.